couple little small projects today. We've got the uh, fuel cap. It's uh, <laughs> like everything else. It's seen better days. Pretty well scratched up. We'll be able to clean it up a little bit. Um, obviously, you can buy new ones, but the rubber seal in there is uh, shot, and uh, looks like that little deal there is is bent right there. We're gonna have to got a nut there in the middle. We're gonna have to try to take it apart and either make a gasket or buy a gasket. And of course, my stuff here is empty or doesn't want to come out one of the two and result is just the same uh, so we'll let that soak a little bit and a chance for our penetrating oil to soak a little bit so we'll use a left-handed monkey wrencher on the thing we can take this apart a little nut um, Could pick that off of there and we have this washer obviously has a bend in it it's got a little hole there I assume that's for a vent Let's see if we can clean that up a little bit but this is the uh, this is the bad guy here this gasket or seal and it certainly is seen better days there's nothing left of it a couple little pins there you can take underneath of that is a spring and uh, let's see if we can take the whole thing apart and Clean it all up anyway. Let's see. I don't know if we can get in there with a crescent or not because the gasket material is all built up around that. Looks like it might want to come. Hard to tell. Get this gasket out of here. Probably a better tool to use, but you got to use what's within arm's reach. Otherwise, you got to get up and go get something. So let's see here. We can get this one to come off. Yeah, not so easy. We better soak that one too, or quit while we're ahead. One of the two. See if we can get some more juice out of our little can here. Maybe it's enough to drip on there. Doesn't look real promising. Let's we'll go get another can. <laughs> you ever notice those cans are never empty the last time you use them, but they're always empty the next time you use them. <laughs> Funny how that works. So we'll let that soak a little bit. In the meantime, we'll take and clean this up a little bit and uh, see if we can straighten that edge out. We had a little wire wheel action there. Clean things up a little bit. Still have to get that nut off. We got the other washer cleaned up a little bit. So we'll. Uh, see what we got going here see if we can get this nut off this um, underneath here there's a spring and that's what holds tension on your cap kind of looks like that original seal was just leather or something it's hard to tell I think I got this to turn yeah it looks like it would be a lot smarter to use a proper size wrench but it's got spring pressure on it, so I'm going to have some preload on it coming all the way off. I 
I don't know if I can push down on that and make it any easier or not. Doesn't, uh, doesn't really help in it. We'll, we'll get it. Probably going to be fun to put back on. <laughs> If it's engineered properly, there'd be no tension on it right at the end. We'll just have to see. I think that's what we got here as we get close to the edge. I think we've taken all the spring pressure off of it. Get that other nut off of there. Probably lose it on the floor or someplace. Here we go. Now we have couple of bushings in here it's more parts and another washer and then we have our little lever so we've got some more parts to clean if we can uh, see that there's a groove in there I don't know what difference that makes doesn't seem to be any difference but we'll see if we can clean this stuff up and figure out what we're going to do next. We're definitely going to have to replace this gasket. And like I said, I it kind of feels like paper. I can't imagine it's paper, but I guess it could be if there's enough pressure on it. But uh, we'll see. Maybe we can make one. We found some material that um, we're going to try to use to make a seal for this fuel tank cap. We've got a piece of rubber material here. It's, uh, I don't know how thick it is. Let's see, it's maybe an eighth inch thick. And uh, we've drawn a circle on there. And I think what we're going to be able to do is cut that out and then put a hole in the middle and uh, see if we can't make it a seal for that gas cap. Uh, so we've got our shears here. I don't know, they're supposed to go around in a circle, left to right. We'll just trim that right around that line. See how that works out. Be nice if I had a gasket punch set. Maybe you could just punch a hole through that although that rubber is pretty thick cut that off of there and uh, you'd have a nice round circle if you had a, a punch set of course most of the time when you're <laughs> trying to punch a hole like that you want what's left after the hole is punched out not not the piece you punch out, so kind of backwards, but we'll see how this works. You know the motto here in the backyard, we use what we got. So we'll see here, just slowly but surely work around this curve. So we have sort of a circle there. I've got a disc sander. I might be able to put that on the disc sander and work that around a little bit. But uh, I think what we got to do is put a hole in the middle and um, see if we can put that together. We'll do that off camera. Well, we reassembled this cap. I'm not too worried about this rough edge on this seal because it seals on the surface here. This rubber mat is a little bit thicker probably than the original piece. It's reinforced in the middle. We got a hole in the middle there. And we'll put our hat on there and uh, 
hopefully we can get the washer and the nut on there since it's so thick let's see what we got here Uh, same old story. You gotta sneak up on it. Hmm. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so we tighten that down. Nice and tight. I want that to fall off and go down in the fuel tank. That wouldn't be good. We'll be put a little Loctite on that once you put it together for the final time. I'll snug that up. So now we have this seal around here. And the uh, hope is that that'll seal against the lip in the top of the fuel tank. We'll take this over and uh, put it on the fuel tank and see how it works. So we just have a cotter pin here that holds this cap in place. Uh, that's what was in it before, that's what we'll put in it now. We won't bend it over, but we'll just see if this uh, if this thing will seal up. So we'll put it down there and latches in real nice. It's got some spring pressure on it. Pops right open. Well, we'll have to put some liquid in that tank and uh, stand it on end and see if it leaks out the fuel cap. That's the only way we're going to know. Um, probably never fill the fuel tank all the way to the top, but you get some sloshing around and stuff in there, so you, you definitely want it to seal up tight. But, uh, that looks okay. We may end up making a bigger one of these seals here. may want to overlap that piece a little bit just for a little extra. There's a lip down in here where it seals against. And really, as long as we're sealed against that, we're good, but... Um, Looks like maybe a little bit bigger piece would uh, be better. We'll check it out first. If it needs a bigger one, we'll make another one.